Well, hello everybody. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice, and coming to you from the home base. And today we're gonna talk to you about another uh, gadget or accessory that we have added to our repertoire of things to have with our RVing adventures. And today we're gonna talk about uh, road safety or basically safety anytime, getting yourself started from a dead battery. And we've always carried the, the traditional uh, jumper cables, uh, but that always relies on having another vehicle there to uh, jumpstart you. And so today we've delved into the uh, portable jumpstart gadgets. And we have one here that we're going to demonstrate and show you the features of it, show you how it uh, worked with our uh, first test. Here we have the NOCO Boost Ultra Safe Jump Starter. And we just uh, picked this up at Sam's. We're gonna open it up and uh, see what it takes to use it. It's a 12 volt jump starter and also says it will also charge tablets, smartphones, other USB devices. So uh, we're gonna see how it works. And what we have here is the NOCO Boost 12 volt portable battery uh, jump starter. It's a lithium battery pack basically with a set of jumper cables that attach to the end here. The jumper cables uh, about 24 inches of reach there. So work with most uh, standard batteries. Also serves as a charger for other portable devices, iPhones, iPads, etc with a USB out on one end. The USB in as you see here in the picture is for uh, charging this uh, NOCO Boost and they say the charge lasts about a year and you get about 20 jump starts off of one charge. One other handy aspect of this is something we really liked about it is it comes with this uh, fairly small carrying case so it easily tucks away and can easily just throw it under the, the uh, back seat of our tow vehicle and have this uh, NOCO Boost readily available and not taking up a lot of weight and space in our tow vehicle. So stay tuned as we test it out and give you some feedback on how it works. And we've got it charging here and as you can see the battery indicator lights basically flash on and off at the level at which it's charging so it's about not quite three quarters full those lights become solid when it reaches a full charge at that level so we're hoping to fill up uh, both bars with that and then give it a try after a couple hours of charging we got it fully charged up got the on button on there and uh we're going to test it out on this uh, riding lawnmower and the battery is dead. There's a little bit of juice in it, but not enough to turn it over. And so we're going to hook it up to it and see if it works. Okay, we have the red on the positive, black on the negative, and it is indicating uh, that it is ready to boost. And so we're going to give her a try. Started it right up as you saw, and the charge light is still green. It says it'll do over 20 uh, jumps on one charge, so that was one. <laughs> uh, we're not going to jump this thing uh, 20 different times, but uh, anyway, it uh, seemed to work very straightforward, very easy. It's got good, good, strong 
springs on these clips and uh, seems like works as designed the charging uh, the initial charge took about two hours uh, I was charging it with a um, an iPhone brick and it took about two hours to move it from the two red lights all the way up through the amber and into full green uh, charge and another handy feature on this it does have this uh, safety light a seven function safety light and that's the basic on position and off and you can hold it and cycle through the different brightness as well as have it be a strobe flasher like if you're on the road and give folks a little heads up you got something going on there and that's all there is to it and as we said this is the end for uh, connecting the the battery cables they only go in one way and it has a safety feature that uh, prevents you from hooking up incorrectly there are ways to override that but there comes with that lots of warnings in the instru instructions so uh, so far the Noco Boost GB10 uh, seems to work fairly well. Well, as uh, we wrap things up on the Noco Boost Jump Starter, uh, even though it did work great on our lawnmower, uh, getting it started out, that 12 volt battery on the lawnmower uh, kicked right off. Uh, after a little bit more research, one thing I was a little bit puzzled with was uh, wanted to make sure I had enough amps coming out of this to deal with my uh, large Ram 1500 pickup truck, uh, as well as our other vehicle, our uh, Dodge Durango uh, as well, a V6 engine. And so I did a little bit more research online as there is nothing on the box that tells you the capacity other than it says it works for trucks, cars, and SUVs. Uh, so it sounded like it worked okay. And uh, there is nothing online uh, about this item as well. I went to the manufacturer's website and they do not even have uh, this product on their website. Uh, so I uh, looked a little bit more detail at the brochure, the tiny, tiny brochure that comes inside. And this is a model GB10, George Bravo 10. And uh, it says it in very, 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 uh, like two font in the middle of a page of two font uh, that it is a 400 amp unit. Um, I did look at NOCO's uh, website, their unit that they do have, the smallest unit they do have on their side is a GB20 and it says it's a 500 amp unit and it is only rated up to uh, four cylinder engines uh, as using their, their specs. So if the smallest they have is only for four cylinder engines and uh, mine is GB10 with 400 amps, uh, definitely uh, won't meet the capacity needs for the truck. So this one's going back, even though it worked great and it's compact, has a great carrying case. If your needs are for a, a light <laughs> vehicle, a uh, small car engine, as well as down to uh, ATVs, motorcycles, lawnmowers, etc., then this one works great. Uh, but it's going back, and we're going to try out uh, another one. And we'll be back to you with that uh, in another video. Thanks for uh, watching, and hopefully uh, this has been useful in helping you pick out uh, a safety gadget for you, for your RVing and uh, camping needs. Thanks again. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice.